welcome to a real conversation between two native English speakers. I'm Liz Wade, and this is Adam Navis, as always. Hi, Adam. Hello, Liz. <laughs> I feel like I always, well, I never know how you're going to say hello, Liz. <laughs> I try to shake it up. It's always a, it's always a, a grab bag. Um, anyway, and we are here to talk about a program that many of you, our listeners, probably want to listen to or have listened to, and it is called Taking the TOEFL. Now, I keep saying it the wrong way, so please, no, I apologize said it, said if I say, I know, but I keep saying, in my head, I want to say TEFL, TEFL instead of TOEFL, but it, the correct pronunciation it, uh, Liz, is... Liz, I don't think we have time to unpack what's going on in your head. <laughs> No, you perhaps do not. Anyway, let's move on from inside my head. We are talking about taking the TOEFL. And um, if you have not listened to that program yet, you should maybe pause this video or podcast or whatever. Go on over to our website or YouTube or uh, our podcast for Spotlight English and listen to this program. You can follow along with the script on our website, www.spotlightenglish.com. If you're on YouTube, you can also follow along with the script and listen to the audio as a video. And um, if you're on YouTube, if you wouldn't mind just uh, clicking the little like button, subscribing to our channel, and you can even get a notification for every video that we send out so you never miss any English practice. And I know we're gonna talk about English practice in this program, so just save yourself some trouble and uh, click it now so you don't have to remember later. Um, and while you're there, you can also look at our membership options on YouTube by just clicking that join button. Clicking the button just helps you learn more about it. It's not signing up for anything unless you choose to sign up to be a member. And if you're a member, you can get PDF scripts and extra videos, badges, emojis, lots of cool stuff. Um, and if you would like this script to download for yourself as a PDF, we do have a subscription for our scripts. So there's a little tongue twister for you if you want to try a little extra English practice subscription for our scripts. Um, and that is our scripts by email subscription that you can find on our website. Just click on that. It is $5 a month. And every Monday you get a script and audio link sent directly to your email. So you have no excuses not to practice English every single week. And uh, let's get into this program Let's. about practice English. Um, Adam, one of the things that I learned about the TOEFL, see, I said it correctly, is that um, it was invented in like the 1960s. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know when I would have expected it to be <laughs> invented. <laughs> but in the 60s, um, there were, as there are now, uh, many students from other countries, countries around the world, who wanted to come study at um, U.S. universities. And right. so, of course, in the U.S., universities, everyone speaks English. And, but if you can't speak English fluently enough, um, it would be really difficult right. to study there. So they created this test that um, that all universities or other places really, we'll get into that, but can use to assess your English level to make sure that you would be successful if you went to a university. Right, because if if you and I went to a university where they didn't speak English, and then we started learning very technical terms and like very advanced, um, yes. like each, each field of study, of course, has its own vocabulary of words. And if, if you're struggling to understand basic English, you're definitely going to understand uh, whatever yeah. language we're in. Uh, if, I will if, say in um, in high school, I went, I studied German in high school. Mm -hmm. And um, after high school, I was able to go on an exchange program where I went to school and Germany with, um, in Germany. And then I, of course, had a student who was, was here in the US who was able to go to school. But it is really difficult to understand school 
in a language that is not your native language. And I am, I was pretty good at speaking German and I struggled a lot. Right. And I think we have, for, for anyone who's watching this video for the TOEFL, you already know the difficulty. I guess we're, we're telling you something yeah. you already know. Yeah, Learning a exactly. language is a challenge. Mm -hmm. um, but I think that since so many people, like I, I think there's actually a way that TOEFL and Spotlight can, can work well together. Because yes. there's a lot of things about Spotlight that um, really help. There are four areas of learning, of, of language, Testing. we'll say. Testing. Uh... Yeah. It, it skills. Yeah. Four different skills. Reading. Yeah. Well, you can read along with our scripts. Mm -hmm. Listening. Uh, you're clearly listening to us. Speaking is always the hardest one for us to to have people contribute. Well, I always encourage people to like speak along with the um, with the voicers, with the voices right. in the program. Because if you're, and I don't know if you're gonna go, if you were hoping to talk about each one in depth, but if you voice along, if you read along with the voice in a classic program and then an advanced program, you can really, follow the cadence and sound mm -hmm. and inflection of each voice going through. And that is a way for you to practice speaking. Right. And the fourth one is writing, which you can write in the comments below. Say, are you going to take the TOEFL? Are you studying for the TOEFL? Did mm -hmm. you pass the TOEFL? And <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. What was your secret to yeah. passing the TOEFL? Yeah. I do. I will say, though, that with if you want writing practice, we have an email that is contact at spotlightenglish.com. And many people write in um, about how a program has affected their life. Or maybe we said something in a program that somebody didn't agree with. Mm -hmm. um, or they just want to share a part of their life and their experience. So that is another way to write. Um, we we get Lots of emails, so sometimes I'm not able to respond to every single one, but I do try. Yeah, and I think it's it's um, yeah we want to we we do genuinely want to hear what your goals are and how you're yeah. using Spotlight to to yeah. help prepare yourself. Um, and I I know I already talked about the scripts by email, but um, I think it's a good point to bring it up again. And I'm not trying to like hammer on this, but I, there's an idiom for you. Yeah. So, I mean, hammer on this. So like, you know, a, a nail, you're hammering it in and like, maybe you get it in, like keep, keep hammering. Going. Anyway, I don't mean to hammer on this, but, um, scripts by email is a great subscription that it's about a different subject every week. So you are expanding your knowledge and your vocabulary talking about everything different, right? And you also get the PDF script. So you get something to print out. You can mark it up. You can read it out loud yourself. You can listen to the voices in the program and then see if you can copy their their vocal inflections and things like that. Um, it really does cover most of the things that you need to do. Um, maybe, you know, Monday you listen to the program and you write out your your uh, questions and then maybe you listen to it again on Wednesday and then uh, write out answers to your questions or write out what you think the program was about or what the most important thing in the program was about. And really that practice is what gets you to improve in a language, right? right? We all know it's so difficult where everybody's busy and there's a pandemic in the world. I don't know what? if you've noticed this, Adam. <laughs> no, I think we're still in a pandemic. I think you're um, I think you're totally right and and being intentional yeah. about all those steps throughout a week. Just doing a little bit. You know, the spotlight programs yeah. are about 14 minutes. And if you can practice yeah. your English in 14 minutes, I mean that's yeah. that's pretty good. Anyway, so I like I said, I don't mean to hammer that too hard, but I do think it's a great opportunity to just give yourself no excuses 
to say, I'm going to do this right now. Right. Um, and I do, there are a couple examples from the program or in the program of students who have taken the TEF, TOEFL, see, I knew I was going to say it. Students who have taken the TOEFL and have been successful or needed to try it again or, you know, uh, different, different outcomes. Right. Um, and one is Kim Min Woo, and she is a student and scholarship winner from Korea. And uh, he told people, I'm just going to read from the script sure. here because it's a good quote. Um, he told people taking the TOEFL that it is important to practice hearing reading and speaking English. Now, we've already talked about that in this program. We know that part. Um, but he says, try to hear and see English often. Speak as much as possible. The best way to improve speaking is to practice. Speaking to one's friends and English teachers would definitely help. Always keep in mind that practice makes perfect. And yeah, I think that is great advice. You know, like sometimes I, I want to do something, um, but it's really scary. And I'm like, I don't have time for that. And, you know, making excuses and excuses. Mm -hmm. um, but if you really do want to be good at something, you have to make that time to practice. You have to like buckle down. There's another idiom for <laughs> you. are you. full of the idioms today. I know. I'm full of them today. Um, you have to buckle down. You just do it. You yeah. know? You just do it. Right. And um, hopefully here at Spotlight, we are giving you some materials so that you can say, oh, that sounds really interesting. Um, you know, last week we talked about, uh, I don't know, no more women in science or... Right. Uh, you know, a story about the little match girl or whatever. And so this week we get to talk about something completely new. We get to talk about being a good boss or, um, I don't know, anything. An interesting and person. What? Go ahead. An interesting person. Yeah, exactly. So like there's so many different things that appeal to a different audience, a wide audience. And I just think, there you go. I hope that yeah. is helping people do those things. And I would love to hear if you have, um, yeah, comments about if you've taken the TOEFL, but also like, what what do you think helps? What is the best way to just really buckle down and practice? Yeah. Um, yeah. And do, like, here's my question. Do you want to hear me only speak in idioms from now on? <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> No, but we would love to hear from you. Um, and like I said, check out our programs from the past. Check out our programs in the future by clicking uh, subscribe and clicking the little bell so that you never miss a notification when we put out a program. Um, if you are listening to this as a podcast, make sure you subscribe to that. Um, and always visit our website so you can see what our newest content is. That's www.spotlightenglish.com. You can check us out on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, wherever you get your podcasts, and YouTube. So you have no excuses. That uh, You're cracking the whip. So I know, right? I know. Um, but you have no excuses in in not practicing. And so I would really encourage you keep practicing, keep learning. Um, and we hope that we can help you with that until next time, listen, watch, practice, and learn spotlight out. <laughs>